Maisie claims she knows the lyrics to Wrecking Ball. We club, we chained our hearts in vain. We jumped, never asking why. Top 10 most annoying things ever. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> Lastly, for Richard and Michelle, do you anticipate being able to watch the show now that you're no longer a part of it, or is it too sensitive? In I'm so to... excited about watching yeah, the show. Absolutely. I mean, I love the show. I love being a, a viewer of the show, and there's so much of it that, you know, you read in the scripts, but you don't get to see, and now I can, I don't know anything that's <laughs> yeah. coming, you know, so I can Because you haven't read the scripts, so, <laughs> so yeah. we all be like the nerds on the internet going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no We're offense to offense the nerds on the internet. <laughs> I just wanted you to let me in. I guess I should have let you in. Happy show. Thanks. <laughs> it's not, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> I, and I shouldn't really be saying this, but I kind of went into the first audition unprepared. I was unaware of the show. I hadn't watched the first season. I'd kind of just heard from guy friends who'd been watching it that, that you know, that it's amazing. So it was all kind of word of mouth. And um, I didn't realise the pressure. And had I realised the pressure, I don't think I would have been able to land the job in the first place. So kind of I'm happy that I was naive for the first round of the audition. I should have bought you flowers. And all your hair. Should have given all my hours. When I had. I came into the bathroom to find this. Well, clearly I'm interrupting something. Okay, go. I have one question. Where's my leg? Howdy! Na 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 Batman. They dead. Like so dead. Like OMG dead. My mother and brother are dead. We're here to talk about Game of Thrones. <laughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> exactly. All nice and dramatic. Game of Thrones. <laughs> Are we looking forward to much more dramatic moments than a new season for you? But, uh, yes. <laughs> I am Sparta! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sophie. I'm India. And, and this, this is our vibe. <laughs> happy birthday, Aumli! Happy birthday! I hope you have a great day! This, oh, it's falling off. <laughs> okay, this is a wonderful neck piece. I think it's when they see, oh, there's a, a man and a woman in, in a bathtub. Uh -huh. uh, let's take pictures. Now, yeah. you can't. As you do. Yeah, as you do. Of course, as you, you want to, and who can blame you? But yeah. you don't want that in the theater, so what do they do? Uh, um, well, I just, it hasn't happened. There really hasn't been that many people taking photos mm -hmm. of us in the in the in the tub they should be admonished uh, and warned not to they, take photos they they should yeah. indeed they should and also there's there's just no need they could go on youtube and see game of thrones and it would be more than they you've would been, ever see been, in the you've bar you've been naked in the, the game of thrones yes wow <laughs> thank you sam's the the daddy of that little family and he's just Hell bent on being a better f example. Your parents are living. Yes, they are. Yeah. Yes. So, um, <laughs> so they've they've seen the Game of Thrones. Oh, they have. Yeah, and yes, what do they, they say? Have. Hey, look at there. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. Hey, hey. Well, 
No, but I tell you what, it just puts the but when they saw the bath scene, they were like, what's all the fuss about? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's not a big deal. They've seen it all now, before. Is your mother better about it than your father? Or is My, there anything that not worry? There's nothing to worry about. Well, right? uh, yeah, A, there's nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. and, and, and B, my mom sees it and is, and is very cool and fine with it. And my dad just kind of avoids, avoids eye contact for the first kind of yeah. couple of hours after we've seen it. And then it's kind of, then it's fine. <laughs> uh, Littered with arrows. Arrows, I know. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. The mouth was riding away from me. I was glad I'm going to go. I kind of always wanted to be an actor, but when I was about 11, my, my parents were like, okay, you want to you wanna give this a go? And my, my dad works in the theatre, he's a sound designer, and, um, and so he got me in on this audition, this West End audition. So I was about 11 years old, and I was like, yeah, this is amazing, I'm going to go in, I'm going to be an actor, it's going to be great. You, like, you had wanted to do this? Uh, oh, for yeah, yeah. For, for quite some time. And I was convinced it was all going to work out brilliantly, happily ever after. So I turned up to this audition and um, was not expecting to see 80 girls lined up outside. Oh, my God. God, 80, 11 year old girls who wanted the part. Exactly, who yeah. wanted the part. Um, and so I got into the theater and heard for the first time, midnight, you know, midnight, not a sound on the, you know, oh, that midnight song? and the kitties are sleeping. Yeah, the cat, no, the, is, is that what the song is? from the musical Cats. Yeah, midnight yeah. and exactly. the kitties are sleeping. Downstairs by the furnace. Clearly, you're not dying because these, you're like, it's, it can only lose one. Stark boy, I see you then. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think I am in next season. Um <laughs> 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 I didn't know I had never heard that song before and I heard it like 80 times mm -hmm. and so I was freaking out because I didn't I didn't have anything so I kind of shuffled onto the stage my dad wait a minute this is somebody this is your dad's fault you're auditioning for a musical <laughs> and you don't have a piece to sing that, that somebody I was I was pretty sure I could just go and wing it I mm -hmm. suppose what did you do well, uh, so, uh, so I just desperately, in the few minutes before I walked on, was trying to remember any songs. And I was currently being taught a folk song at school called Donkey Riding. Donkey Riding. <laughs> <laughs> hey ho, away we go. Riding on a donkey. <laughs> is how it goes. <laughs> and um, so that's what I did. I and, and they, they, they loved it, right? They hated it. Oh. No, they really, I don't think I even got through the first verse. That's and, not um, right. And so then they asked me for something a little more contemporary. Yeah. So then I quickly followed that up with a, with a rendition of, um, of the Spice Girls, If You Want to Be My Lover. Uh -huh. how, how did that Complete go? with a dance routine. Uh -huh. I think they saw that out through fits of laughter. <laughs> and I just, I just remember halfway through my like Macarena type dance yeah. move, looking to my dad and he's just got his head in his hands. Oh. Like. <laughs> Hi. Maisie's beating. <laughs> We're treated like gods. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. No, I'm not. I, I know I'm still living, but I admitted while sitting next to George that I hadn't read the books, and right. now I fear for my life. Oh, really? Yeah. He may become angry now that you haven't read his yes. books, and you'll be hit by a car, which is very... <laughs> that doesn't happen much in that realm. Yes. 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 A girl came up to me in a bar the other day and said, you look exactly like Jon Snow. And I was like, well, actually, I, I am. And she said, you know, he's much taller than you. He's much taller than you. Like, okay, you know what? I lied. I'm not. I'm not Jon Snow. <laughs> My veins popping. It's not a good one. <laughs> much better. <laughs> I like your hair. Bits better. <laughs> Look at the camera. I believe I can fly. Yeah, the race of Oh, wow. <laughs> At our karaoke party in Iceland, this guy, what did you sing? I don't remember. Faith by George Michael, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was blinding. You felt this way all day, and then they suddenly they release it. It goes. The release, and then the release. Yes. Oh, so that was a wig, by the way. Yes. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was like, why are you wearing a helmet? Uh, what does winter is coming mean to you? I'm sorry, I just have really inappropriate things in my head. <laughs> I'm a little shy. You're a little but shy? I but I, I think uh, you could join Game of Thrones with this situation. Thank you. I'm also a little nervous to be seated next to the House of Lannister. <laughs> How would you describe Game of Thrones to people <laughs> who, hadn't, uh, who maybe haven't experienced it yet? 
Um, it's, uh, it's, um, set in a kind of fictional medieval land with, um, a lot of violence and a lot of very raunchy sex. <laughs> There's a lot of rumpy pumpy. A lot of rumpy pumpy. She is tough. I find some redeeming qualities in her myself, but, but she, fans, can some of them really hate her? And they let you know that, don't they? Yes, yes, they're, they're not, I mean, I guess it's a compliment. You know, when it somebody, is. when yeah. you're buying a table and someone's like, you that bitch off. Uh... <laughs> My name is Tywin Lannister and I'm a kindly, benevolent father <laughs> of, a, of a dysfunctional family. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that is probably, and please don't take this away, the single poshest voice I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> uh, even that laugh is remarkable. <laughs> uh, After filming, forget about my dirty makeup and go to the shop. People think I'm homeless. And it's hilarious. Well, not really. It's kind of sad. Clapping with one hand. Wow. I'm not going to die. <laughs> I'm really tough. Every, every day is a new challenge. <laughs> I was in a department store and um, I was just in the lift and the lift doors opened and this woman kind of looked at me and did a double take and just said, Can you see? And that was it. I was like, okay. I wanted to congratulate everyone on making it through season one alive. Uh, which not all of your fellow cast members did. Uh, now, with this show, do you ever worry, like, when you get the next script, this is it? Like, this is where your character gets killed? It's just the girls. We need a little... We need only a the help, girls. We? I do a lot of falling in my dress. <laughs> which nice. is not that funny to listen to, but to watch, it's quite amusing. <laughs> Season one, when I was covered in blood doing that scene, and I got stuck to the Lucy. <laughs> no joke. I stuck. To, I stuck myself to everything because it was sticky blood. Yeah. So I stuck my knee to my knee, and then myself to the loo. <laughs> uh, on Game of Thrones. Yes. This is Rose Leslie. And this is Amelia Clark. <laughs> Would you believe? Thank you, guys. Would you believe it? Have fun. <laughs> but um. I was walking down the street in, um, it was in London actually when this happened, and I was, um, this guy came up to me and he was like, uh, Khaleesi, like mother of dragons, please, 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 can I have a photo? And I was like, yeah, of course, oh my God, definitely. So he'd take his photo and then, um, and then he was like, so what's your real name? And I was like, oh, it's Amelia. And he was like, yeah, 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 stick with Khaleesi, it's much better. Oh, okay. right. Thank, thanks a lot. Yeah. It's a real fun to recognize me because of the hair. And um, I look quite different with it. Not always riding my horse. Either. Not always riding my horse. Not always getting raped either, which is not really wow. And it was seeing John Bradley's face <laughs> slowly freezing. <laughs> Slowly turning oh, into a block of light. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. They kept the camera rolling just to watch it for a while. <laughs> oh, it was really that's mean, but it was. That's really mean. It's like he it got icicles really on, his, on his little. On his little. Do, you guys, do you pretty much have all the men at your fingertips now when you meet them? They're, they're like, oh, there she is. There's Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones. And you're like, I got them. I got them. They're putty in my hand. I think maybe if I had my dragons with me all the time, that might work. <laughs> but without the wig and the dragons, it's not so. Oh, uh, but you know, so can, you, my you can tell them the dragons is with valet, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> They're parked yeah. and the ready to my dragon outside, <laughs> don't you worry. Really good fun, it was really good fun. We got to play around with uh, and each other. Yes. Which is <laughs> always good. That's we were just sort of being very affectionate. Yes, exactly, exactly. In a fashion way. Yeah, yeah, in a styled, fashiony way. And Joffrey. Joffrey's a wee prick. Mummy's boy, a bully. He's got nice eyes. Um, <laughs> I feel like Jack, the actor, has an abundance of redeeming qualities. I feel like Joffrey, the character, uh, uh, less so. He's kind of always sits like squiffy on his chair. And he's like always picking it at the handle. And he's like, I am the king. <laughs> I feel like Ant Man is kind of a sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> Superman couldn't save his own planet, could he? Well, he's a baby. He's a baby. Oh, he's still well, Superman is a baby. You never have, have superpowers on Krypton. I mean, oh, come on. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Heroes. Yes. yes. Michelangelo. Michelangelo. <laughs> and the little rat. Splinter. You clearly haven't seen the show at all, have you? <laughs> Expect a gadget to yes. take out. Go, go, gadget. Go, go, gadget arms. He'd save the world. He would save the world. Now, you live in New York City now? 
I do. At the moment, What's that's that where I'm like? living. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Amazing. I, like, I got here in sort of the end of January, and I was really British about, like, crossing the street and being really kind of sensible about things and then within the first like week I was walking out and I was listening to my music and this car like comes down in front of me and I like slam my hand on the hood and I'm like hey I'm walking over here. Oh. One of the most terrifying things I've ever had to do was the opening shot of season three they wanted to get this feeling of something being behind Sam and something in pursuit of Sam so they decided the only way to achieve that effect was to chase me on a quad bike through the snow and they had a guy running alongside saying the only reason I'm here is if you fall over I'll get the quad bike to stop. I mean, thanks very much. I don't know what they're paying you, but it's not enough. The most weird thing I've had to do this season is to bite off a man's ear and spit it in his face. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Where's my case? Where's my case? Where's my case? Where's my case? <gasps> <laughs> you guys have to dress up as a character. Who would you guys would dress up as? Oh, no. Teenage Mutant, Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtles. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. I'm gonna go for Michelangelo. Um, I hope he's him. I'm gonna go for Raf Raphael. Raphael. Yeah, Raphael. <laughs> and it's just really exciting. You can see the headline kind of kids with drinking <laughs> problems on Game of Thrones. And I, you know, flip. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Everyone else gets the bat. Hmm. Okay, well, there was that scene where he said, Hodor. Hodor? Hodor. Hodor. That, that, that was definitely a badass one. <laughs> oh, Dracaris. Dracaris. <laughs> definitely. I believe that's probably the most badass quote. Barney. 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 Son. <coughs> hey, when I'm talking. You all right? <coughs> You okay? <coughs> Flim.